and welcome back to another season of Co's Daily Brew. Today I want to talk about a topic that is definitely going to be a little bit harder to talk about. That said, I'm really challenging myself this Daily Brew season to kind of speak off the cuff and also just talk about some more day-to-day -day things because that was kind of the whole premise behind starting these Co's Daily Brews is that I wanted to like catch up with you guys more every day and just get more personal with you, be able to just like update you on life and realistically just drink our morning coffee together. So I guess, ugh, I can feel my chest getting a little tight, but I guess like, I don't know, I guess it's just time to let you in on a little bit of a life update. I feel anxious because it's like a weird, it's really a weird for me to balance, I guess, the fact that I live my life very personally and then I also live my life online and I love living my life online. It's such a privilege for me to be able to create and to be able to just like, just connect with you guys in this community. Like I can't express to you how important it is to me, just how important you guys are to me. But I feel like there's also this little piece of me that's always a little hesitant when it comes to sharing my personal life because I think nothing ill of anyone that watches my videos. I think it's just that there has to be a line, right? Like where like you draw between what you share with the world and what you keep for yourself. It's just hard because what I share with the world feels different than what I share with you guys because in a lot of ways in my eyes, you guys don't feel like the world to me. You guys kind of feel more like friends. You feel like sisters. You feel like just people I've known for years or maybe even just months, but people that I talk to on Instagram, you guys are people that I comment back and forth with. And so it's, it's weird because it's like if we were actually friends in real life, I would give you all the updates in the world. But like what I do is so public and it's not just you guys watching, there's also new people that watch and there's some like mean people that watch but I don't really care about that, but there's also just like people that don't even know anything about me that watch and so getting personal, it's hard because you're not being able to kind of filter your content specifically to who's watching. Wow, this is a tangent. This is turning into its own Daily Brew episode in itself. But basically what I'm getting at here is that I always want to keep you guys updated on my life. I always want to give you guys a little bit of an in on to like where I'm at, how I'm feeling, because that's how I share. I share through my own life experience and I try and find a way to either express my story in a way that someone watching that's going through something similar can connect to it or relate to it, or shared in a way that at the end of the day I feel like I've closed it in my own books and like like ended a chapter or created something good out of anything that I'm like going through or feeling or whatever. So yeah, today we're gonna talk about breakups and how breakups suck. And if you guys are curious, yes, I myself am currently going through a breakup. Now a lot of you guys have been up to date on my relationship with Arthur because Arthur himself is also a creator. He's an amazing photographer. He's an amazing videographer. And so we were very open about our relationship and I have no regrets about that because I still have a lot of love for Arthur. I still think the world of Arthur and I honestly look at our relationship as something that was so beautiful and I'm just so happy that those memories are there for me to be able to go back and look at and for him too but unfortunately with the long distance and just in general with where our lives are going it just became really really hard to keep our relationship just like top notch when we're spending so much time apart and I'm not really like a phone person and our three hour time difference which I know might not sound like very much but it just started to weigh on us and it started to create just I guess distance in more of a more of like a metaphoric term than rather a physical term because there was obviously physical distance but there was also metaphorical distance too you know and so I think that we just decided to kind of call it quits and basically do it before it started to turn into anything toxic and that we would be able to leave it as friends and we'd be able to leave it with all the love that we have for each other but just knowing that our circumstances just weren't right and we tried this relationship on for size and it just didn't fit and it's weird because we well I can only speak for myself but I have no ill words to say about Arthur and I just based on talking to him I know that he would probably agree and say the same but it doesn't make it suck any less and I think that when you realize that someone isn't your person or isn't right for you that it hurts in a lot of different ways and so 
Breakups, they suck. There's just no getting around it. Breakups are always gonna suck whether you're the one doing the breaking up or you're the one that's being broken up with or it's been a year or it's been a few months. Either way, breakups just freaking suck because it's just saying goodbye to someone that is obviously important to you and that you've made a lot of amazing memories with and that you value as a person. But if there's anything I've learned from breakups, it's pretty much this. When you do go through breakups, one of the most amazing things that you will find are all the people that are there for you. You're gonna be able to spend so much time around people that lift you up and make amazing memories, have good laughs, and just see who is there for you at the end of the day. Like One thing that I've talked about before, I think it was either in a podcast or in another Coast Daily Brew, was how this year I'm, I've done a lot of weddings. And I've been a part of both the bride and groom because my dad got married, but also to like, being um, a bridesmaid in two weddings and a maid of honor and my sisters, I've gone to a lot of bachelorette parties and I've seen a lot of friendships and I've just seen a lot of girl power this year. And even just living with Larissa and her moving out, like we have so many memories too. And, and so I feel like one thing to say about breakups is that we're all kind of out here looking for our one love. And if you found that person, that's amazing. But if you haven't, don't lose faith because even though you might not have found your one yet, you have other ones and your other ones being your best friends, just your friends that you've had since childhood, your friendships in general, your family, the people that mean the most to you, the people that have been around through all your boyfriends and through all of your breakups, those people might not be the people that you end up loving and marrying and like building a family with, but those are your chosen family at the end of the day. And those are the people that will always be there if they're even just an arm's reach away, a text away a call away or a, a hangout away you know and so I feel like that's one thing that is always kind of overlooked in breakups at least for me is that you focus so much on the loss of the one person that you almost forget to see all of these people that rise up and they support you and they hold you and they kind of like keep you laughing until you start feeling better the other thing that I've learned about breakups is that Going into a breakup is honestly, it's like one of the best times to going into a self-care season. And in a weird way, like a kind of dedicated September in, to being self-care September, that's what I've been calling it. And the reason why is because even though I feel like I have a hold on this breakup, it is still kind of affecting me emotionally in the sense that like it's a little, it's bittersweet, you know, like it, there's some sweet memories, but it's still, it's bitter. It's bitter because it's like I had the highest of hopes for my relationship and I wanted it to work out really badly. And so I think that taking breakup season, whatever time you find yourself going through a breakup, as a chance to kind of focus on yourself, a chance to maybe put a little bit of extra time into the things that have been stroking your curiosity. Like if you've wanted to get into a new hobby, if you've wanted to join, a dance class if you've wanted to get into reading more this is the time to do that and also too to focus on yourself in the sense of like if you have big goals if you have career jumps you want to be making if you have anything you can even take yourself on trips you can go on a little weekend away you can go for long drives you can stay up as late as you want you can make all the food you want you can watch all the Netflix you want it's just a time to kind of focus on you so that's the other good thing that comes out of a breakup, if there is anything good that comes out of a breakup. It's the perfect time to kind of go into self-care mode. And then the last and final thing that I would say I've learned from breakups is that time heals everything. All I can think about is back in high school, I used to be obsessed with this movie called Country Strong. If you guys have watched it, then you'll know what I'm talking about when I say the song that Garrett Hudlin sings where he's just like, I'm gonna try it, okay? Where he's like, um, Tom and he's here with bang. All right. So I just did that, but um, that was cringy as shit. But basically, every time I think of the quote, timing is everything, I hear Garrett Hudland just singing that little quote inside my ear because it is so, so true. I feel like I can think of boys I liked in high school that felt like the end of the world to me. I can think of guys that I thought were gonna be the love of my life or my future husband that just ended up not being and it feels like the end of the freaking world when it's going down and your heart feels like it's being shattered into a million pieces but suddenly time passes just kind of like how 2019 has passed so freaking fast and then one day you just realize that you're healed and it's weird because I feel like at least again personal experience Everyone that I've ever truly, truly loved will always hold a little piece of my heart because they'll always hold a little piece of my time. I can't take that back, nor would I take that back. But at the same time, as time moves along, your heart does grow bigger. And even when you eventually do, this is about to get corny, but even when you eventually do give your heart to somebody, 
I think that the little pieces that are owned by other people still get fully owned by whoever you give your heart to, including yourself. Like your heart will always belong to you, but I think that your heart just grows bigger with each love that you have and with how long that you love. And so I think that when time passes, as weird as it sounds and as much as it might not seem like it because it'll feel like time is passing slow, one day you will lift your head, you will look up, time will have passed and you will have healed. And between now and then, just keep yourself surrounded by the people that lift you up, keep self-caring and self-loving and that will also grow your heart and just know that breakups suck. There's just, there's no sugarcoating it, there's no getting around it, but you will survive, you will get through it and you're not going through it alone. So. There you guys have it. That's gonna pretty much be like the only real talk I do of this just because like I mentioned, I think that balance of figuring out how much I share online and how much I don't, I'm always going to want to share with you guys, but I don't want to prolong this conversation because I think that for one, I just, I don't know, I just want to look towards the daylight. I want to look towards the sunlight. I want to just, I want to talk about all the things that we're doing here and that we're creating here and the inspo, the good happiness, and not only that, I just kind of want to go through this whole, anything breakup wise, I think I just want to go through it personally, you know? And yeah, but at the same time, I felt like I wanted to give you guys an update. I wanted to let you in on what was going on. And I want to thank you guys for just being the most loving and being the most supportive group ever. I know that you guys loved and supported not only me and my relationship, but also Arthur. And I want you guys to keep doing that because Arthur is an incredible, incredible, incredible creator, an incredible human, and an incredible just like soul. So please know that we have no, there's nothing bad that happened, no one cheated, nothing, anything like that. And that I hope you guys will continue to still love and support him too because he is just, he's gold. He's just a golden guy. So I'm gonna take a good old gulp of my coffee and wash it down. And aside from that, I'll talk to all of you guys in tomorrow morning's Coast Daily Brew. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.